are upset and blaming the nightlife. 23 ABC's Cassie Carlisle live at the city council meeting tonight to tell us how the bars could be affected. Cassie. Yeah, Tim, tonight it is all about whether or not the community finds these bars a public nuisance. Broken bottles onto the floors in front of their doors, uh, a lot of rice. All from two bars not even a block apart. Fights, noise, and two deaths are what locals are upset about. This man said it's better to drink at home. And when others were asked if they want the bars to stay open. No. Okay, why not? So all these problems right there. 23 ABC has obtained police records that show 14 calls for fights at El Potrero in the past four years and 25 at La Casita. The numbers decrease as the crimes get more serious. One call for assault with a deadly weapon at the nightclub and two from La Casita since 2011. That end up without a, without a parent, without a son, with, without a husband. President of Committee for a Better Arvin says it only takes one bullet to make a deep impact. So do we wait for more? or do we shut him down now? The mayor of Arvin said while he's sorry for the family's loss and will listen to the community, the bars haven't done anything wrong legally. This is going to be a, a difficult situation because we have to be able to balance you know what is taking place in, uh, in our community and then what is taking place in the legal world. So we have to be able to balance both and to now, uh, the meeting is tonight at 6. We tried reaching out to both of the bars, but we were unable to make contact with them. Tim? Cassie, there's a petition being presented tonight by the Committee for a Better Arvin. Any update on its status tonight? Yeah, that petition has about 3,000 signatures, and the mayor is saying that that might be enough to take away their conditional use permit for the bars, which means they could be shut down. All right, Cassie, we'll stay on top of it. Cassie Carlisle, live for us tonight. Cassie, thanks.